Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Patrician 4. Last time we, uh, well, we essentially made a little plantation inside Lubeck, right here, that produces quite a lot of hemp for us to use to trade. Anyways, now that uh, we have that set up, let's set up a second round because Stockholm, our, um, our designated loadout point for all of this hemp, is starting to get overwhelmed with the amount of supply going in. So, we're going to set up another round and we're going to set up an automated route this time with uh, our second cog, which is our trading ship. So, first and foremost, I'm going to turn off repair convoy on all of the towns that is not Lubeck simply because I um, don't really need them repairing every time they, uh, they go into a port. And we're going to get it so that inside Lubeck, we're going to get our ships to pick up salt and salt, hemp, and metal goods, so we're going to get them to load all of that, and we're going to load up about 200 units of salt, 100 units of hemp, and maybe 25 units of uh, other stuff. And then in all the other settlements, really, we're going to get our ship to automatically trade salt, hemp, metal goods, and we're just going to copy that through uh, but we're going to put in the other thing that we want to trade, which is going to be, um, I believe it's going to be, what is it called? Uh, yeah, it's going to be automatically trading some other stuff as well. It's going to be automatically trading uh, wheat. Ah, oh, great, I messed up my values here, so I'm just going to have to reset them, so... Um, yeah, just get these things back, just like that. And let's put down wheat as a automatically traded good in these settlements here. So our second fleet is just going to be kind of like a wild card. It's just going to try to find the best deals on these things and trade them, so we're going to activate that. And because this route's a little longer, it's going to take a little more time, but this ship is just going to go around and essentially try to find good deals here, here and there. So there we go, so it's going to go around to the various different ports, it's just going to um, try to see what's there. It's going to buy whatever uh, is cheap there and is good to trade, and it's going to just go from our ports. It's going to stop at Lubeck here, and it should pick up its uh, designated cargo hold, which is the salt, the hemp, and the tools, or the metal goods, and it's going to go back out in a second, where we, where it can, essentially, uh, offload those goods. Hmm. Where is that fleet? Uh... Oh, I see, it's at Rostock. So it unloaded its goods at Rostock, and now it's going to go back on its route and it's going to start uh, retreating those goods again. So, um, yeah, that's going to complete one loop, and judging from the uh, little loop here, it's actually going to need quite a lot more... Uh, it's going to need quite a lot more hemp and quite a lot more salt to maintain uh, it's kind of little presence here, so I'm actually going to get it to load up 300 units of salt, and that should be it pretty much. So that's going to be another automated route that's going to essentially do its own thing for us, and yeah. Next time maybe, uh, maybe from here we'll be able to look into actually running for office inside one of these uh, cities. Um, the main thing that I'm looking for right now is how much uh, extra stuff that we are producing ourselves. So going to accounting house, going to goods and balances, we have a ton of hemp and a ton of... Uh, well, we don't actually have that much salt, so actually we are going to be building a little place to store our uh, salt facilities. And we're just going to be building off of this little setup here. So that's kind of that, and that will just keep our money flowing. Hmm.
And our boats just come and go with You have now set up your things. first business that requires raw materials for the production of goods. Please remember that these raw materials must be available in your counting house every day, as each business draws its raw materials from the counting house. Yeah, so uh, with the uh, with the salt factories, you do need to uh, make it so that they they have enough access to wood to essentially ship out to make the make wood apparently into salt, right? So we are going to have to do that. We're going to have to provide them with enough wood. Um, so what we can do is that we can go to the counting house and we can essentially go to the minister and then we can essentially just. Um, you know, just kind of leave it as it is, right? So now it should be able to just hold some, um, hold some wood back. But actually, I think I'll go over here and I think I'll actually just buy some wood. So I'll set it to automatically purchase wood below 40, and it's going to try to keep the stockpile at 50, good enough for about one and a half months, which will hopefully keep that place running. In the meantime, we are going to use here this C, which is our. Uh, second, technically third fleet, to come over here, buy some uh, wood, and ship that back. So it looks like wood actually is in high demand, and it looks like um, they barely have any inside Oslo, because it looks like the rest of the towns here, this entire stretch of town, needs uh, needs wood. Actually, the entire like countryside here, essentially Holland and yeah, England also, needs a ton of wood, so... Yeah, we might actually have to expand into that business too. Uh, with that said, let's look into that. So let's get our little boat here to come up here. We can actually make wood one of the um, things to trade on this round. So let's get wood and let's put that onto the different places here. So that's going to get wood set up. Wood. Uh, let's see. Wood there, so some wood there, trade some wood there, and that's going to get that route set up as well. So that's good. And now, so we can come in here, we can take a look at the town, and we can take a look at, uh, you know, how much wood exactly is, well, how much uh, wood is being sold for. So, wood should be sold for uh, fairly cheap, I would assume, as soon as I can get the trade window open. But um, if it's in any reasonable amount of cost, uh, 39 gold pieces, we may be able to build a plantation inside Oslo that essentially makes wood for us, which we can then sell from the port, and then the other merchants should be able to actually transport it for us. So with that said, same process as essentially setting up in any other town, so we go to the guild, go to here, uh, didn't mean to run for office. I meant to go to the church. I see you are our... helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. Just gonna go over here and see if we can join the merchants guild here. It actually, oh, yeah, we do have to get the uh, the guild titles. So we're going to have to get traveling merchant, which will come up. Um, in the next few turns before we can get it. So all we're just going to do is just wait and let our automated trade system uh, essentially make enough money for us um, so that we can go out and get another city under our control. In the meantime, we can go back to Lubeck and we can take a look at the construction of various different buildings. Uh, we should be able to buy some more wood now, yeah. So let's buy an entire section, just like that, an entire section of bricks. And I'm going to see what building a house actually does inside this game. So I'm going to go to Malmo as well. And we're going to pick up the same goods. So a ton of wood, a ton of bricks, and that will just be our private reserve of building material. As soon as we get to this city, we can go into the little ground level here and go into the architect, and we're just going to be building a house. So with houses, I you if you build them closer to the city square, I believe more wealthier people. I expect people you to come either back. tear this house down immediately or cut me in on the profits. Remember, I was here first. 
yeah, the local people do get a little of the, uh, well, they get their jimmies wrestled now and then, so, um, yeah. We're going to have to keep them wrapped, because I believe later on you can actually, uh, essentially get into a merchant war where, uh, your ships, you can actually build warships here, where these are, yeah, these are just trade vessels, but you can actually get, um, things with guns on them, <laughs> and use those ships aggressively. Uh, let's see which one. Can't tell exactly which one is. I think you actually you might have to upgrade them. Uh, yeah, and then you get guns on them. Oh, you buy the ship hull and then you upgrade it to get guns on. So that's kind of that. Hopefully, after we build that, everything will be fine. Uh, let's see over here. We can uh, if we get our puppy if we get our popularity up, we can actually run for mayor inside the uh, town, and then at that point I think things will go um, a little better. We did build a housing complex here, and by building a housing complex here, I believe, yeah, we do make some money off of it, just automatically. Ten tenants, we make ten dollars every day on it, uh, however it looks like it costs quite a little bit to um, to make that money up. Now with these cities, yeah you can actually grow them by uh, doing something with this uh, prosperity count I believe, or something like that. You can uh, essentially grow these cities, uh, but I believe that will be later. I think this will be the end of this part, and for those who, uh, who, who don't know, this is not a graphical You've glitch. You've probably already noticed that spices cannot be produced in the Hanseatic League. Yeah. These products come overland from the Mediterranean via Thorn, Cologne, and Bruges. Now that you have become traveling merchant, you can also send a convoy to the Mediterranean to buy much greater quantities of these goods more cheaply. Okay, well, um, yeah, we can send an expedition, and we might do that next time. I'm going to just to see you guys later on, where we, uh, well, we do some more stuff over here before we actually send off a ship to the Mediterranean. So, I'll see you then, there. Bye-bye.